What's up friends and music makers? My name's Matt, welcome back to the Menace Mixing YouTube channel. Today what I want to talk to you about is guitar arrangement and more specifically how we can use a really really easy trick to totally pimp out our guitar arrangements. Take all of our super perfect amazingly performed guitar parts, apply this trick and make them totally pop. Give them a larger than life sound. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to listen to it. We're going to just go through the parts without all these little guitar arrangements. The bits in brown are the kind of kind of main parts here. So you've got the pre-chorus and chorus and then the verse split off because it's a slightly different sound. Um, so yeah, let's have a listen. Okay, so those are the parts varying from crazy simple, which is chords, and then a slightly more intricate arpeggio melody sort of thing, and then a little riff. And we've kind of applied these tricks to, yeah, every section has got this trick applied to it. So the fundamental thing about this trick is that you're just taking your part and then you're either arpeggioing it or just finding a little section that you like and what you're doing is you're taking the same notes double tracking it except each side is an octave below or above what you originally played so in this example we've got those chords those basic chords and what we're going to do is we're going to arpeggio them but we're going to do it an octave below and an octave above. And what that does is it complements and creates a kind of really cool wide sound on these basic chords. So on their own. So yeah, very simple move. Didn't add need to add any more notes, any more harmony. Just take my part, do it twice more, but one time an octave below, one time an octave above, and then you've got a super nice sounding, super wide sounding guitar part. And then we've taken that exact premise and we've thrown it on a bit, not an important, but like a little bit that I wanted to accent. So this little like bend up and down because it's a bit of a theme throughout this song this these kind of little little semitone bends up and then back down that that but do that's a theme that i kind of wanted to highlight and emphasize so what we've done same trick just take those notes octave lower octave higher pan them left and right to however wide you want them. In this scenario, I only wanted them 50%. And then for the for the pre-chorus, they felt better at 100%. It's kind of, it's taste, it's just choice. So yeah, let's play those together. It just makes that little, that little theme, that little, that little melody just pop out. And it's a really simple trick. Like I said, you don't need to add, think about any extra notes if someone comes in to record some vocals over it and you've done all, layers and layers of guitar stuff you don't have to start ripping stuff out pulling stuff away because you've created too dense a harmonic structure and the vocals just clash with too much stuff it's just the same note it's great it's a, it's a really simple trick um, and then we've got a similar thing going on in the verses here mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So just for that like kind of slide note, that semitone down. Just add those octaves in. And it creates a really cool dynamic shift, like that for that one little moment, you've got a big boost in level and it kind of creates these cool these cool little moments. It's a really, really simple way of adding guitar arrangement. So yep, very simple trick. Please try it out and also let me know what you're doing when you're arranging guitars. Is it similar to this? Is it very kind of get apart and then just throw some extra bits on it or is it more intricate? I'd love to hear what you guys are doing. So yeah, thanks. Peace out.